of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning dear brothers and sisters. In order to offer this Holy Eucharist to the Father in a worthy manner, let us really, truly, freely, sorry and ask pardon for all our sins and offer this Eucharist to the Father. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord. Let us pray. Be near, O Lord, to those who plead before you, and look kindly on those who place their hope in your mercy, that cleanse from the strain of their sins, they preserve in holy living, and be made full heir of your promises. To Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. You shall be the father of a multitude of nations. First reading, a reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 17, verses 3 to 9, page number 13 of the Old Testament, 1-3. Then Abraham fell on his face, and God said to him, As for me, this is my covenant with you. You shall be the ancestor of a multitude of nations. No longer shall your name be Abraham, but your name shall be Abraham. For I have made you the ancestor of a multitude of nations. I will make you exceedingly fruitful and I will make nations of you and kings shall come from you. I will establish my covenant between me and you and your offspring after you throughout their generations for an everlasting covenant 
to be God to you and to your offering, offspring after you. And I will give to you and to your offspring after you the land where you are now an alien, all the land of Canaan for a perpetual holding and I will be their God. God said to Abraham, As for you, you shall keep my covenant, you and your offspring, after you throughout their generations. The word of God responds, The Lord members his covenant forever. The Lord members his covenant forever. Consider the Lord and his strength. Constantly seek his face. Remember the wonders he has done, his miracles, the judgments he spoke. For children of Abraham, his servant, who were sons of the Jacob, he chose. Response, the Lord remembers his covenant forever. He, the Lord, is our God. His judgments prevail in all the earth. He remembers his covenant forever, his promise for a thousand generations, the covenant he made with Abraham, the oath he spoke to Isaac. Response, the Lord remembers his covenant forever. Acclamation. Now is the acceptable time, now is the day of salvation. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Chapter 8 verses 51 to 59. Jesus said to Jews, Truly, truly I say to you, If anyone keeps my word, he will never see death. Jews said to him, now we know that you have a demon. Abraham died as did the prophets. You say, if anyone keeps my word, he will never test death. Are you greater than our father Abraham who died? And the prophets died. Who do you claim to be? Jesus answered, if I glorify myself, my glory is nothing. It is my Father who glorifies me, of whom you say that he is your God. But you have not known him, I know him. If I said I do not know him, I shall be a liar like you. But I do not know him and I keep his word. Your father Abraham rejoiced that he was to see my day. He saw it and was glad. The Jews then said to him, You are not at fifty years old and have seen Abraham. And Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. So they took up stones to throw at him. But Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple. Good news from God. The first reading of today's God made a covenant or a promise with Abraham. 
His name was changed from Abraham to Abraham, meaning Abraham mean father of a person. Abraham mean father to a nation. It's a lot of meaning to be a father to a person and father to be a nation. By then, he was not at all, not even a father to a person. By then, he was not even a father to a person. But God made a covenant with Abraham that he is going to be his God. He is not only going to be his God, but he is going to be God for his descendants. Even today's gospel, Jesus says, Whoever follows my commandment will have life eternal. And the people gathered there, they say, how it is possible. In the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 1, verses 37, we read, Nothing is impossible to God. Everything is possible to God. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, we are in the season of Lent. When things were possible to Abraham, and when things were possible to Jesus, why can't things be possible to us all? As we are in the season of Lent, at times we think that many things are impossible to us. We should always know and believe Jesus. When things were possible to them, why can't it be possible to me? As he made a covenant and a promise to Abraham, as he made a covenant and a promise to Jesus Christ, we are also his children and of the Father. He is also making so many covenants with us all. And he also makes us so many promises with us all. So therefore, as Abraham surrendered himself to the Father, as Jesus surrendered himself to the Father, in fulfilling the covenants in, it, in their own life, in believing the covenants that were prom that was made by the Father, that were made by God to him, them. Let us also believe the promises and co covenants in our own life. As we are in the season of Lent, let us also believe that things are also possible to us all as it was possible to Abraham. May Almighty Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, with the Spirit of God, bless us all. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, there is the Holy Eucharist. It is also specially pray for all the leaders of the country. As you all, we all vote for the leaders Let's also pray for our leaders whom we are going to elect. May the good Lord bless us all. Have a good day. God bless you.
pray to your sis, brothers and sisters that are sacrificed may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of the Lord for the praise and glory of His name. For our Lord, the Look with favor, Lord, we pray on this sacrificial offerings that they may be profit our conversion and the salvation of all the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and salvation always and ever to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you with that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the faith of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness and so with glorifying you with the countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim you are indeed holy O lord the fountain of all holiness Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was eaten, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of Faith. We Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministers to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with France, our Pope, Tuma Bala, our Archbishop, and all the clergy, more especially your loving children gathered around this altar. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. How mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her spoke Joseph with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to the quest with in our life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, Father. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace and forgiveness of God be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a meaningful sign of peace. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May this mingling of body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us to receive it. Lord, with faith in your love and mercy, I eat your body and drink your blood. Let it not bring me to condemnation, but health in mind and body. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his banquet of love. Lord, I am not worthy to take the of my youth, but only say the word that my soul shall be healed. Body and bread of the Lord Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to us to receive it. Amen. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. 
may almighty god bless you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit the mass is ended let's go in peace love and joy of christ and have a good day god bless you thanks be hymn number 100 Oh, my God.